Have you ever had an idea or a concept that you're struggling with and don't know how to proceed? What if you had a simple set of rules, like these, that you could use with almost any large language model to help you work with whatever it is you're stuck on? Let me show you how this works. For the system prompt or agent, there is a simple set of rules at the top, sort of like distilled concepts. Then, underneath is the user interface, or starting menu. It's important to ask for the menu first, as that triggers recursion. Everything is step-based, so it can be a bit tricky to use at the moment, but once you get into the pattern, things do get a lot smoother. The menu, your previous step, sets the context, so now we can ask questions. For example, let's get creative. This question has some chaos in it. Here I have asked, can you give me some nicely creative ideas? I'm not sure how to move forward with my art project. And as you can see, I'm glad to help you brainstorm some creative ideas for your art project. To give you the most relevant suggestions, could you please tell me? So basically it's asking for some more information, so to clarify your project a little bit, but it's also giving you some weird ideas there as well. So look at nature's patterns or emotional landscapes or time capsule art. But as this is a concept engine, we can, well, show the same concepts in different ways. This time, let's ask for a more ordered approach. And so this time we have a more ordered approach and you should be able to see what I mean by both chaos and order. Being a concept engine, it can also learn new concepts, if you can teach it. Let's make up a new concept now. We'll call it a rodent egg. And as we're just making it up on the spot, the large language model obviously won't have any idea what it is. That is, unless we can explain it clearly enough. And here you can see I've asked it, well, what is the best way to go through an example of how to teach you a new concept? And it's given you the steps there. So you need to introduce the concept, give a detailed explanation, any context and background. So basically all the steps you need to go through in order to teach it a new concept. Here then, I've taught it the new concept of a rodent egg. A rodent egg is a tiny egg and it basically hatches into a little rodent egg that puts quips at the bottom in a Cockney accent. The large language model's response is that rodent egg is now active and as you can see at the bottom it is. Fancy that, a new jester in town eh? Cheers for the gig mate. Hopefully you now also have the basic concept of concepts. Just follow the process and through recursion all will become clear. Oh, and don't forget you can ask your guide for help along the way. Now, let's take a look at what I call meta pattern analysis. This is where you take like an eagle eyed view over the whole landscape of a category, which you can then dive into. I'll show you an example of that now. So I've asked the question, can we analyze a category through the lens of the meta pattern, starting with cats? And the response is, all right, let's analyze the category of cats through the lens of the five-fold meta pattern. We'll examine cats in relation to each of the core patterns, order, chaos, process, shell, and recursion. And so, like we saw at the beginning, a little bit like the creative or the ordered one, this goes through various different aspects of cats that perhaps you hadn't considered. So it's got order state, various constraints, chaos, disruption management, and creative adaptation, the process, the pattern transformations and solution development for cats, contextual boundaries, and also depth control. Or, as Rodent Egg would put it, well, ain't that the cat's whiskers perfectly analysed, if I do say so myself. The information you get will, of course, depend very much on the large language model you are using. It's also important to note that what comes out, well, may not actually be true, as all we're doing here is shaping the output based on what the large language model has in. If it doesn't know English, for example, then it will have a very hard time using the prompt. There are still all the various game, poem and logic modes in there too. Just ask for whatever concept you want to play with. So if all that seems a bit too stuffy, here's one. Let's begin a new cyberpunk style choose your own adventure game. I'm a futuristic scientist exploring concepts in my neon lit hollow lab. You're my AI assistant. Keep the text concise. Yes, you can ask for whatever you want, really, and maintain an immersive cyberpunk adventure style. The response from the AI this time is, well, as you can see, in an AI adventure style. So now if you want to scan for anomalies or pull up the latest research data, then you can. 
Um, it can be your own data as well. You can feed a whole document if you've got some thing you're working on, put it in, ask it to scan that, and you could have a look at it in your virtual laboratory. Personally, I find the adventure games great because they help enforce that step-by-step -step nature, but make it your own, whatever empowers you the most. And now, with this sweltering British heat, I think I need to make sure I can find my towel. Ooh, nerdy rodent. He really makes my day. Showing us AI in a really British way.